In recent years, natural products and methods aimed at improving health and reducing blood creatinine levels have garnered significant attention from both the medical community and consumers. One particular product widely promoted with the promise of reducing creatinine levels by up to 50% has been banned by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. This decision has sparked lively discussions about the safety and efficacy of natural remedies in treating kidney-related issues. Background on creatinine and kidney function. Creatinine is a waste product produced from the breakdown of creatinine, a vital component in muscle energy production. Blood creatinine levels serve as a crucial indicator of kidney function. When the kidneys are not functioning efficiently, creatinine levels rise, signaling that the kidneys are failing to eliminate this waste product effectively. Therefore, controlling and reducing creatinine levels is a primary goal in the treatment of chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, affects millions of people worldwide and is characterized by a gradual loss of kidney function over time. As the kidneys become less efficient at filtering waste from the blood, patients often experience a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, swelling in the legs and ankles, shortness of breath, and confusion. High creatinine levels are a key marker of declining kidney function and are often used by healthcare providers to monitor the progression of the disease. Managing creatinine levels is critical for patients with CKD to prevent further kidney damage and improve their overall quality of life. This management typically involves a combination of medication, lifestyle changes, and in some cases, dialysis or kidney transplantation. However, the quest for alternative natural methods to lower creatinine levels has led many patients to explore various supplements and herbal remedies, hoping to find a safer and more effective solution. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining the body's overall homeostasis by filtering waste products from the blood, regulating blood pressure, and balancing electrolytes. When kidney function declines, these processes are disrupted, leading to an accumulation of waste products like creatinine in the blood. Elevated creatinine levels not only indicate impaired kidney function, but also pose a risk for further complications, such as cardiovascular disease and anemia. Therefore, monitoring and managing creatinine levels are vital components of managing CKD and preventing its progression to end-stage renal disease, ESRD. The Appeal of Natural Products Several natural products, including herbs and nutritional supplements, have been marketed as effective solutions for lowering creatinine levels. The appeal of these products lies in their promise of being a safer, more natural alternative to traditional medications, which can sometimes come with unwanted side effects. Herbal remedies and supplements are often perceived as gentler on the body, aligning with the growing trend towards holistic and integrative health practices. Despite their popularity, not all of these products have been scientifically validated or certified as safe by health authorities. This lack of regulation and oversight can lead to significant risks for consumers. The market for natural supplements is vast and often poorly regulated, with products varying widely in terms of quality, purity, and efficacy. Consumers are often left to navigate this complex landscape on their own, relying on marketing claims and anecdotal evidence rather than solid scientific data. The allure of a quick and easy solution to lower creatinine levels can be strong, especially for patients who are struggling with the burdensome symptoms of CKD. However, without rigorous scientific testing and validation, the efficacy of these natural products remains uncertain. Furthermore, some products may interact negatively with prescribed medications or exacerbate existing health conditions, leading to unintended consequences. Natural health products often evoke a sense of trust and safety due to their organic and chemical-free labels, but this can be misleading. The unregulated nature of the supplement industry means that products can contain contaminants, inconsistent dosages, or even harmful substances. For instance, some herbal supplements might contain heavy metals or prescription drug analogs that are not disclosed on the label, posing significant health risks to consumers. Additionally, the placebo effect can play a role in the perceived efficacy of these products, further complicating the true assessment of their benefits and risks. FDA's Role and Rationale for Banning Certain Products The main reason for the FDA's ban on certain products is the lack of scientific evidence proving their efficacy and safety. Many of these products have not been thoroughly researched or do not meet the necessary safety standards. Additionally, some products may contain undisclosed ingredients or pose a risk of severe side effects to users.
The FDA's mandate is to protect public health by ensuring the safety, efficacy, and security of drugs, biological products, and medical devices. This involves a rigorous process of evaluation and approval that requires manufacturers to provide substantial evidence from clinical trials demonstrating that their products are both safe and effective for their intended use. Natural products and supplements, however, often fall outside the scope of these stringent regulatory requirements, leading to a proliferation of unverified and potentially dangerous products on the market. By banning certain products, the FDA aims to mitigate these risks and ensure that only safe and effective treatments are available to consumers. This protective measure is particularly important for vulnerable populations, such as those with CKD, who may be more susceptible to the adverse effects of unproven remedies. The FDA's actions serve as a reminder of the critical importance of scientific validation and regulatory oversight in the development and marketing of health products. The process of banning a product by the FDA involves comprehensive reviews of clinical data, adverse event reports, and scientific literature. This thorough examination ensures that decisions are based on solid evidence rather than anecdotal claims or incomplete research. The FDA also collaborates with other international health agencies to monitor global trends and adverse events related to supplements, ensuring a broad perspective on product safety. Furthermore, the FDA's enforcement actions include issuing warning letters, product recalls, and legal actions against companies that fail to comply with regulations, underscoring the agency's commitment to public health. The importance of seeking professional medical advice. Using unverified products can lead to serious health risks. Consumers may experience issues such as allergic reactions, drug interactions, and even more severe kidney damage. Thus, the FDA has taken stringent measures to protect consumers by banning unsafe products from the market. Patients with CKD need to be particularly cautious when considering natural supplements and herbal remedies. While the appeal of these products is understandable, the potential risks often outweigh the benefits. It is crucial for patients to consult with healthcare professionals before incorporating any new supplement into their regimen. Medical professionals can provide evidence-based advice and help patients navigate the complex landscape of natural health products. Healthcare providers can also offer alternative, scientifically validated treatments that have been proven to effectively manage creatinine levels and improve kidney function. These treatments may include dietary modifications, exercise programs, and prescribed medications that have undergone rigorous testing and approval processes. By working closely with their healthcare team, patients can develop a comprehensive and personalized treatment plan that addresses their specific needs and health goals. In this context, finding safe and effective methods to lower creatinine levels is of utmost importance. Patients need to be guided by healthcare professionals in choosing scientifically proven treatment methods. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, which includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and periodic health checkups, are also essential factors in naturally and safely improving kidney function and reducing creatinine levels. Additionally, patients should be educated on the importance of medication adherence and monitoring for potential side effects. Regular communication with healthcare providers ensures that any changes in symptoms or health status are promptly addressed. By fostering a collaborative relationship with their healthcare team, patients can better understand their condition, the rationale behind their treatment plan, and the steps they can take to optimize their health outcomes. This proactive approach not only enhances the effectiveness of treatment, but also empowers patients to take an active role in managing their health. Conclusion In summary, the FDA's ban on unsafe products aimed at reducing creatinine levels is a necessary step to safeguard public health. Patients must be equipped with accurate knowledge and seek advice from healthcare professionals to ensure effective and safe treatment. The quest for natural remedies to manage CKD is understandable, but it must be approached with caution and a commitment to scientific validation. By prioritizing evidence-based treatments, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Patients can effectively manage their creatinine levels and improve their overall kidney health. The journey to better kidney health involves a multifaceted approach that balances medical intervention with lifestyle modifications. Emphasizing the importance of a holistic treatment plan that integrates validated medical therapies with supportive lifestyle changes can significantly enhance patient outcomes. Through ongoing research, patient education, and stringent regulatory oversight, the medical community and health authorities can continue to improve the management of CKD, offering patients safe and effective pathways to better health. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section.
we would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.